cone. From a piece of circular paper disc with a radius of convenient length, cut out a sector as shown here in the figure. Students roll the sector taking end to end along the radius and glue it. The shape so made is called the right circular cone, the base of which is a circle and the surface is a smooth curved surface. You can think of the right circular cone as the solid generated by the revolutions of a right-angled triangle about one of its sides containing the right angle. The slanting height or length is the distance from the vertex to a point on the rim of the base. It is sometimes called the sloping height. The surface area of right circular cone. Dear students, take a paper made hollow cone and cut it along the dotted line and open into a net as shown in the figure alongside. Do you notice here that the curved surface of the cone is the sector of a circle and the base is also a circle? If the radius of the circular base is R, then the area of the base of the cone that is A1 is equal to pi r square. Now let this be equation 1. Students, to find the lateral or the curved surface area, cut the sector representing the curved surface into appropriate number of small sectors and rearrange them to the form of a parallelogram as shown here in the figure. Do you notice here that the area of the sector and the area of the parallelogram shape is the same? Also, the length of the arc of the sector equals the circumference of the base circle of radius r. Therefore, the length of the arc of the sector is given by 2 pi r. If L represents the slanting length, then curved surface area, that is A2, is given by area of the parallelogram, which is equal to base into height or this can be written as pi r into l therefore a2 is equal to pi r l let us be equation 2 students alternatively you can work out the curved surface area of the cone as First, consider the sector of a circle having radius L and arc length 2 pi r that folds into a cone of circular base of radius r and slanting length L. Now, area of the sector is equal to 1 by 2 arc length into slanting height. This equals 1 by 2 into 2 pi r into L. This gives us 
pi r l which is also the curved surface of the cone students we may also write curved surface area of the cone s equals to 1 by 2 circumference of the base into slanting height that is curved area equals to pi into radius of the base into slant length that is pi r l now adding equation 1 and equation 2 we have a equals to a1 plus a2 that gives us pi r square plus pi r l now taking pi r common we write pi r r plus l as the total surface area of a cone students the slanting length l can be obtained as follows let a b c d be a cone with a radius of the circular base o d as equal to r and slanting length a d equals to l draw a o perpendicular to o d a o is the height h of the cone since triangle a o d is right angled by pythagoras theorem we have a d square equals to o d square plus o a square now let us substitute the values and we write l square equals to r square plus h square therefore l is equal to under root r square plus h square now let us look at another example it reads the radius of the circular base of a right cone is 4 cm and height 3 cm find the curved surface area and total surface area of the cone students take the value of pi to be 3.14 now let us look at the solution let a b c d be the given cone with radius o d equals to 4 cm and height a o equals to 3 cm since a o d is a right angled triangle we have by Pythagoras theorem a d square equals to a o square plus o d square now let us substitute the values and we may write 3 centimeter whole square plus 4 centimeter whole square equals to 25 centimeter square therefore ad equals to 5 centimeter that is the slanting length of the cone now the curved surface area that is s equals to pi r l 
Now, let us substitute the value of pi, the radius of the base, that is r, and the slanting length of the cone l. So we write s equals to 3.14 into 4 into 5 centimeter square. That gives us 62.8 centimeter square. Now let us calculate the total surface area. We know that the total surface area that is A is given by pi r into r plus l. Substituting the value of pi r and l in this relation, we write 3.14 into 4 into 4 plus 5. That gives us 113.04 centimeter square. Therefore, the curved surface area of the cone is 62.8 centimeter square, and the total surface area is equal to 113.04 centimeter square, and that is the required answer. Students, now let us look at another example. The curved surface area of a right circular cone is 2,310 centimeters square. If the radius of the base is 21 centimeter, find the slanting length and the height of the cone. Students, take the value of pi as equal to 22 by 7. Now, here is the solution. Let A, B, C, D be the right circular cone with the radius of the base O, D equals to 21 centimeter. First, let us solve for A. Given that the curved surface area of the cone, that is S, equals to 2310 centimeters square, to find the slanting length AD, we have pi RL equals to S. Students, putting the values of pi, r, and s, we have 22 by 7 into 21 into l equals to 2310. Transposing 22 by 7 and 21 to the right hand side, we have L equals to 2310 into 7 divided by 22 into 21. Therefore, L or the slanting length is equal to 35 centimeter. Now, solving for B, since AOD is a right-angled triangle, by Pythagoras theorem we have AO square equals to AD square minus OD square. Now, let us substitute the value of AD and OD in the equation and we get 35 centimeter whole square minus 21 centimeter whole square. This is equal to 
784 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर देयरफॉर ए ओ इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट 784 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर दैट गिव्स अस 28 सेंटीमीटर हेंस द हाइट ऑफ द कोन ए ओ इज इक्वल टू 28 सेंटीमीटर students now let us look at another example a right circular conical canvas tent has the diameter of 14 meter and slanting length 4.5 meter find the length of the canvas required to make the tent if it is 1.50 meter wide and the cost of canvas at the rate of rupees 250 per meter take pi as equal to 22 by 7 now here is the solution students the diameter of the tent is equal to 14 meter therefore the radius of the tent r is given by d divided by 2 that is 14 divided by 2 equals to 7 meter also the slanting length that is l is equal to 4.5 meter therefore the curved surface area or s is given by pi r l this equals 22 by 7 into 7 into 4.5 meter square which gives us 99 meter square now solving for a since the canvas has to cover the curved surface area of the tent the area of the canvas must equal the curved surface area of the tent therefore the area of the canvas is equal to 99 meter square or l into b equals to 99 meter square or l into 1.5 meter equals to 99 meter square therefore l equals to 66 meter now solving for b the unit cost of canvas equals rupees 250 per meter and the total cost equals to length into unit cost we've already calculated the length and the unit cost is given so we write 66 into rupees 250 equals to rupees 16500 volume of right circular cone take a right circular metal cone and a right circular cylinder of metal having equal dimensions that is the same height and same radius of the circular base put the cone inside the cylinder as shown below now fill water into the cylinder up to the brims take out the cone and observe the amount of water left in the cylinder do you notice here that the level of water in the cylinder is now about 
2 by 3 or 2 third of the original level? Can you conclude from this activity that the volume of the cone is one third of the volume of cylinder? Students taking radius of the base equals to R and height of the cylinder equals to H, we have that the volume of the cylinder equals to pi r square h and hence the volume of the cone that is v is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h that is the volume of the right circular cone whose height is h and radius of the base is r is V equals to 1 by 3 into area of the base into height which is equal to 1 by 3 by R square H. Alternatively, three congruent cones full of sand will fill completely a cylinder of the same and height as that of the cone. Hence, volume of a cone is equal to one-third volume of the cylinder. Therefore, V is equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H. Now, let us look at a few examples. The first one says, a right circular cone has radius of the base 4 cm and slanting length 5 cm. Now find the volume of the cone, taking the value of pi as 3.14. Here is the solution. Students let a, B, C, D be the cone with radius O, D equals to 4 cm and slanting length A, D equals to 5 cm. Let A, O perpendicular to O, D be the height of the cone. Now, by Pythagoras theorem, a O square equals to A D square minus O D square. Now let us substitute the values and we may write 5 centimeter whole square minus 4 centimeter whole square gives us 9 centimeter square. Therefore, Height AO equals to under root 9 cm square that is equal to 3 cm. Students, we know that volume of the cone V is given by 1 third pi R square H. Now, let us substitute the value of pi, R and H in this equation. And we may write V equals to 1 by 3 into 3.14 into 4 centimeter into 4 centimeter into 3 centimeter. That gives us 50.24 centimeter cube. And that is the required answer. Now on to the next problem. The question says, the radius and height of a right circular cone are in the ratio 3 is to 4. If the volume is 
1018.2857 cm cube find the slanting length and radius of the cone students here take the value of pi to be 22 by 7 now let us look at the solution let ab equals to h equals to 4x be the height bc equals to r equals to 3x be the radius and ac be the slanting length of the cone respectively now using pythagoras theorem we get ac square equals to ab square plus bc square now substituting the assumed value we write 4x whole square plus 3x whole square which gives us 25 x square therefore ac square equals to 25 x square now taking the square root on both sides we get ac equals to under root 25 x square which is equal to 5x now let this be equation 1 also volume of the cone that is v equals to 1018.2857 cm3 or we may write this as 1 by 3 pi r square h equals to 1018.2857 or substituting the value of pi r and h in this relation we write 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 9 x square into 4 x equals to 1018 2857 or x cube equals to 1018.2857 into 3 into 7 divided by 22 into 9 into 4 or x cube equals to 26 Point nine 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 seven. That is equal to twenty seven in round figure. Now taking the cube root on both sides, we get x equals to three centimeter. Now let us substitute the value of x in the assumed values. So we get the slanting length. AC equals to five x. That is five into three equals to fifteen centimeter. And the radius of the base equals to three x. That is equal to three into three. That is nine centimeter. And that is the required answer.